Hey there folks, this year I decided for corn silage to just do a video of the time lapse of packing the pile. So you can see here we're uncovering the haylage piles that are in our bunker and we're just going to be putting the silage right on top of it. Uh, you can see there just went the corn chopper. We have a custom crew come in and chop all of our corn for us. It's just way faster and there's no way we could keep the pile up. By doing it ourselves with our little pull type chopper this way it gets all done in one day and it's a better quality chop and they have a processor in it and they can process the kernels way better than anything we could with our equipment we started off the day chopping our driest corn hybrid first uh, basically this field was a silage variety and previous to chopping we didn't get rain for like I think almost a month prior and it just dried down and started dying. The cobs were actually tipping over and were hanging, which is not really ideal for corn silage. But the idea is to put the dry stuff on the bottom and then we've got some wetter stuff we'll put on top and hopefully the juices will soak down into it and uh, it'll all mesh together and be the right moisture. And really it ended up being not as bad as we thought anyways. This dry field was probably right around 55% moisture if I had to take a guess. Now you're going to be seeing the trucks start coming in from the right side of the screen. And that's because we're buying about 400 ton of silage from our neighbor across the road. We worked it out with him that he planted his corn the same day that we planted our corn. And it's the same variety so it should all be about ready, about the same and ready to go all at the same time. At least that was the goal. It did end up being just a hair bit drier than our variety did, but not really enough to make a difference. You can see the difference in color that this stuff is wetter uh, compared to that dry field we started out with. It so about right now you're going to be seeing kind of a break in the trucks coming in. That's because they're going into town to weigh up at a scale. And we do that so that way we know how much we do actually end up buying because one, we have to pay our neighbor and two, we don't want to end up buying too much. Uh, that'll, it just ends up being unnecessary expense. And although it's good to have some more, uh, milk prices are pretty low this year. So we don't really need any expenses we can do without. And now uh, it went by pretty fast, but the chopper is going to go through and you can see in the background there, he's starting to chop our field again. So a lot of the silage that's coming in is a lot greener, and that's because half of the field that he's chopping was planted like two weeks later, and it's a shorter day variety, 82 day, versus the 92 day. Um, and this 82 day variety actually ended up being our best corn silage this year. But now... Everything stopped, and it's not good when things stop when you're chopping. So what ended up happening was the chopper ended up breaking down in a pretty major way. The main bearing on the cutter drum went out, and that let it get out of alignment. The corn pushed it back and up into a shield that's on top of the cutter housing. It crinkled it up, pulled it through the sharpening system, and lodged it down into the cutter bar, resulting in this tangled mess. Luckily, we've got a neighbor who's got a self-propelled chopper, and he was able to come help us finish up the like 15 acres that we had left. So we were able to get the pile finished this day. We ended up only being down about an hour, uh, which isn't too bad. So that's going to wrap up my corn silage video for this year, as he's just going to finish packing the pile. Uh, it's kind of cool with the lights. But... Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little time lapse that I was able to do. And stay tuned because now that harvest is done, I'm going to have a lot more time for working on fun stuff in the shop.